Brent via YouTube says, Hello, enjoy watching the DIY and info videos, but I have an issue with my Mark V GTI FSI with 73,000 miles. I haven't been able to find any info regarding my issue exactly. I don't want to spend hundreds at the dealer for them to just look at it. Anyway, my car is throwing a CEL Bank 1 lien. I believe it's P0171. I have had the codes cleared two times now and after about 200 miles of driving it comes back on. The car isn't losing power or idling rough. I'm not sure what my issue could be and I was hoping you could narrow it down. I appreciate the help in advance. Thanks. Okay, Brent. So any lean fault in a system, uh, especially on more current model cars, is almost exclusively related to vacuum leaks. Uh, sometimes on older cars, lean faults might have meant mass airflow sensor problems or oxygen sensor problems, which is still a possibility. But it's very likely to be the case you have a vacuum leak of some kind. Now, the fact that you're saying there is no rough running situation means it's probably pretty small. But the fact that it continues to come back is a pretty good sign that you have a consistent vacuum leak. Now tracking that down is not always easy. One common place that FSIs leak is there is a uh, vacuum hose that runs back towards the brake booster. It actually goes through the coolant flange on the side of the head. It's on the driver's side of the engine. We actually have a DIY that will link up uh, right here. And that DIY shows you how to replace that hose. Now that is a common place uh, that there's vacuum leaks because there's a nipple on that uh, breaks and there's also hard pipes that are plastic that get brittle and crack over time. So that's probably where you wanna start. Now, once you get past that point, uh, you're really gonna have to probably have to pay somebody to diagnose it. It's gonna require smoke testing the system to verify uh, that there is, or verify where the vacuum leak is if you indeed have one, which is essentially when you're paying the, them to diagnose your car, you're not paying them to plug in and scan your car, you're paying for them to actually diagnose the problem and track down what's going on. So, you know, there is, we love to help people, but uh, we can't only do so much. We're gonna give you top line advice based on our experience. It isn't really a diagnosis of your car. We're just giving you advice uh, to do the best we can with the situation. That is why people get paid to diagnose cars. Um, so hopefully that works out for you uh, and that you can track down your vacuum leak.